virtualization is a very fascinating concept it is being used in a variety of ways these days with regards to the next generation networks we need to understand it in a certain context that is if we want to achieve maximal utilization of multi vendor equipment in a very vendor neutral and agnostic manner to run commercial applications efficiently we need to look at it so this is what we are going to discuss and then we'll look at the practical implementation of virtualization in network environments vendor neutrality is a desirable goal that is network operators have consistently sought to have vendor agnostic solutions that is minimum dependence upon the vendor as a sole supplier of the equipment the vendors are known for their lock in effect that is once you fall victim to the dictates of a vendor you have no option but to comply if vendor neutrality or vendor agnosticism is achieved then the operator is at will to change the supplier upgrade the solution and evolve the services and architectures way beyond what the vendor commits virtualization is very important and useful similar to so many other fields of computing with regards to ngn because eventually all networks are moving to become ngns so far the architecture of ngns is such that if there is change required nothing much could be done at the core or at the inter internal side of the network but only at the periphery the end to end edges could be altered so it means if we want to achieve the vendor neutrality in ngn environment can we identify or discover some interesting data from our networks for instance the types of nodes can we identify some heterogeneity in there the peculiarities of information which is being exchanged between a certain node pair node specific session specific or sub network or region specific power and computing and bandwidth utilization effects on the network can we get some insight into these and if a certain network is offering multiple services is each service getting the expected service level agreement from the underlying network if we are able to get the answers for these questions we are ready to move to virtualization and help achieve independence well if you look at the answers we'll see that there is so much of diversity and heterogeneity in the network that treating networks as homogenous beings is going to be a mistake so it means that at the initial initialization time if it is thought that a certain network architecture with the best hand picked network equipment is going to be the 
one size fits all solution well it's not going to happen because the evolution or the temporal behavioral change in the network performance user behavior equipment performance varies so we say that single solution it cannot be thought of that meets all the requirements at a certain point in time and it cannot be fixated so can we make it loose can we decouple well the process of decoupling is possible if we are able to configure tailor and manipulate the network resources including the computing power bandwidth storage and the battery etc network virtualization similar to its sister concept in computing is when multiple networks are designed by incorporating virtual components which exist in physical networks for instance we could create a virtual router that borrows its resources from either a single physical router or multiple routers which may not even be physically co-located then we could have a server which is not a physical machine but a mig migratable entity it means that virtualization helps us to achieve a variety of goals that we define which we call as the target services for a certain suite of customers once we start thinking of network virtualization linp l i n p or logically isolated network partitions is the most intuitive and explainable concept of having multiple virtual networks out of a single or multiple physical networks so a linp is basically a logical network virtual network that is extracted out of a single physical network or more the virtual resources are created on physical objects as we had shortly talked about these resources are manipulated or utilized through their programmability it means they provision an application programming interface through which their resources could be accessed in the best possible case lin can emulate the performance for offering certain services similar to its um, real or physical counterpart it's a it's a wish list that needs to be incorporated if virtualization of network has to be achieved in full letter and spirit so the design goals for linp are the isolation the logical isolation should be such that no computing leakage or communication leakage should take place beyond a certain lint network abstraction implies that the underlying complexity of how many physical networks or network elements contribute to the orchestration or virtualization of certain lints is utilized if that thing is kept translucent we can say that uh, network abstraction has been achieved reconfigurability is the ability of the network to become cognizant or aware of the underlying dynamics that a network goes through this is important because for a committed quality of service the quality of network varies over time consequently the quality of experience changes so 
to ensure an expected quality of experience for a certain premium user, reconfigurability is desired. The performance KPIs, that is key performance indicators, of virtualized networks should be the same or at least close to their physical counterparts. We've already discussed programmability. Having a unified view on management with regards to routers, switches, servers, and gateways, firewalls, access control lists, IPS, IDS, having a unified view would make the management of these network elements easier. Then there's a need to incorporate mobility. That is, uh, in mobile environments, a physical entity is actually moving in distance with respect to uh, certain other fixed entities. How? that could be perceived in virtualized environment is an important area of investigation. A lot of work has already been done, but since we are discussing the design goals of LIMPS, which have already been materialized, we should know that these were hot research areas once, but now most of these have been resolved, but still improvement is seeked. Last but not the least, if we want to emulate wireless environment, out of a single wireless device such as a wireless access point. Let's say we want to create multiple LINPs out of a single wireless AP. Then the performance of these LINPs is going to be dependent upon the channel impairments and channel behavior, which is a temporal process. So this thing has to be uh, kept in mind as well. Let's now look at how the physical topology, as in physical resources, are translated into virtual resources, which in turn are converted into virtual networks, which give certain services. So we have the physical networks. We've got three physical networks. And uh, we've got their respective network management entities. Out of these routers, some of these routers participate in the virtualization activity by offering the resources. Of these routers, we need to have a resource manager, that is a server or a computing resource that provides resource management at a more virtual level. Then out of these virtual resources, virtual networks are extracted. Here, We've got three LIMPs with a manager for each. And then these three LIMPs are offering their respective services. So we conclude that making ef efficient and optimal utilization of the commercial equipment while ensuring that there is minimum dependency on a certain vendor equipment and a variety of vendors and a variety of equipment is available, how can we make maximum use of this is what we've seen in virtualization.